Now, the DWG workflows are uh, quite uh, sophisticated inside MicroStation. There's many of them. You can read, write, edit, manage, do anything you want to do with a DWG that you could do with a DGN. We support the last seven DWG formats. We've added a lot of DWG key and support, including using your own PGP file. We also included the ability for you to create your own work set from your own CAD data for your DWG data. That way you can take advantage of all of the fantastic CAD management tools inside MicroStation with your DWGs. We also added a dark theme UX, which is, allows you to, um, well, really for CAD people, it's very important since we stare at the screen all day long, the less information coming in to our eyes is better, much less stress to your eyes. And we also did add a user experience, a UX for our AutoCAD users who find um, the location of icons and things difficult in MicroStation. So we'll go back into MicroStation and we'll go ahead and open up a DWG. We'll go ahead and open up a DWG file here. I have just copied into this folder. When you do that, you'll notice that MicroStation goes ahead and um, basically looks the same. There's really no much, no difference here at all. Graphics appear the same. You'll notice that there is a difference in one section of the file here. You'll see that in the interface, right here in the lower right-hand corner, there are a bunch of things in the status bar. One of them is this icon called the DWG Work Mode. And you'll notice that in DWG Work Mode, you are uh, going to be able to work with DWGs, but certain things are turned off. So for nonetheless, everything in here is DWG. So um, going in and looking at elements and, and looking at their properties, they, they do retain all of their properties and all of the information that you got from from the DWG file. So no, no difference there at all. Um, you'll notice really in general, the dark theme is basically everywhere. Um, you'll be able to change the dark theme by going to your file and settings and then choosing preferences. Under the look and feel category is apply dark theme. Um, in addition, we also provided you with the um, ability to use the AutoCAD UX. So coming down here, you'll find that there is a general workflow. We called it general. Um, and you'll notice that if you look at this, the exact arrangement of icons, the names here, are AutoCAD. So this looks very much like the AutoCAD ribbon. So the general workflow is available when you select a DWG file. Uh, the drawing workflow is the MicroStation's basic workflow. So AutoCAD UX is available. The dark theme is available. The key-ins are also there. Let's take a look at that. So finding in your, your key-ins are, are through the key-in browser. Now, if you wanted to get an exhaustive list of these key-ins and see exactly all of the key-ins that are available to you, you can go ahead and simply type in DWG. And these are all of the DWG key-ins. So we start with uh, numbers, the letter A, and then you can just go through this list here. And yeah, there's about 400 of them, I think, or something like that, 300 to 400 key-ins here that are all exactly AutoCAD. So they have the AutoCAD key and name, like snap and, and of course, all, all of our favorite ones are in here as well, like regen all. Okay, that's not a favorite. Um, so all your DWG keys are available through this key in browser. In addition, you can simply do the, the following. You can put a, so uh, let's just do this P line. And there you go. You can see that it starts up a uh, place line. 
and uh, off you go. So you can use a forward slash instead of the DWG to activate your key in. Um, again, we, we tried to pull in all the key ins we could that made sense. And you can use these if you're familiar as an AutoCAD user. In addition, if you have a PGP file that is already set up for AutoCAD, that can be used here so that you can just do things like forward slash PL for your place line. Instead of having to type in P-L-I-N-E, you can use your shortcuts, your PGP shortcuts. Now, uh, opening and saving and file, uh, all of that stuff is done through file save or save as. You can also do import and export, but let's just do a quick save as here. From the save as dialog, you'll have options as a DWG file, and here's your DWG versions. So you can see 2018 to 2021, and then all the way back to, oh, release 14, not 12, apologize. So uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, at least seven formats, just back to at least 14. Lots of other options available to you to make changes as you convert between DWG and DGN. So those are available through the file save and also through um, open as well. You can decide which ones you want to open. Finally, really, we had done a couple of things to help you with CAD standards here with DWG, and that would be to provide you the option to create a DWG work set. So you can come to the workspace pick list in your start page and select DWG work set wizard. This is really a straightforward thing. It's a wizard that allows you to very quickly locate your project data. So where are my DWG files? Where are my extras? Where are my line style files? Where are my et cetera? So let's take a quick look here. So I can go browse for my DWG files and, and tell the software where they are. And then I can browse for my XREFs and again, do the same thing. Then I go to the next one. Where are my rasters? Where are my blocks? Where are my line styles? Where are my patterns? Where are my fonts? By selecting these and selecting browse and putting filling in a, a folder here or multiple folders, you can do that. You can look at multiple folders. You will automatically create the variables. So this is creating the variables in the background. You don't have to actually assign the variables. It's doing it for you. So these are optional. If you choose next at this point, you can give it a name. So I can put it under the workspace text stop. And this is my DWG workspace for text stop. But then go through and do a verification. Um, I could add more stuff here, but we'll leave it alone and select finish. And my new work set was created successfully. So um, I do need to restart to see it. And I might be able to just switch out. No, we'll need to restart to see that. So no worries there. You create your new DWG work set based on the locations of your DWG CAD standards. And that way you can use the CAD standard tools inside MicroStation to help yourself out. Finally, I'd just like to note about DWG. There are only two DWG editors really on the planet, AutoCAD and MicroStation. AutoCAD, of course, is using their libraries, which is makes sense. And then we have access to the AutoCAD libraries directly from Autodesk. So Autodesk does provide us with the libraries. We have a agreement where we provide Autodesk with the DGN libraries. They provide us the DWG libraries so that both of us can maintain fidelity of data. So we want to make sure that if you have DWG data, that you are confident that the graphics are being represented properly. So um, we use the real DWG libraries from AutoCAD and then the DGM libraries are given to, uh, to Autodesk to use in their products. So those are some of the basic DWG workflows. Remember, you can read, write, and edit any basic version of DWG all the way back to release 14. Virtually all the key ins are there and we provided you the ability to use your own customization files. Take advantage of our CAD management tools by creating DWG work sets, and please enjoy the dark theme and the AutoCAD UX. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.